I wake up on my typical depressing nine to five work day, but today is different because at 5.30 a.m. I shoot out of bed, I get dressed, I rush to the train, get into work at 8 a.m., spend my usual nine boring hours there, and then go home and get home at 8 p.m. I've spent over 12 hours outside of my house. Usually this would really depress me, but Today was different, because when I felt the droplets of rain on my face going to the train station, I knew that it was going to be the last time. And when I went to the toilet to do a number two, I knew that that was going to be the last number two I ever did in that toilet. And when I set myself to offline on the work chat, I knew that this time it would be for good. It was June of 2021, my final day of work, and as soon as I left the office doors, I knew that a timer had started. I was going in for my last year of university, so I had one year to make something work. I didn't know what I would do or how I would do it, but I vowed to myself that I would never go back there, and deep down, I knew that it would work out. And three years later, here I am. There was this distinct period last year in October where I released an online product, and in 24 hours, that product got more sales than I used to make in an entire year at that job. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can make about $2,000 a month as quickly as possible. And just a quick disclaimer, this might not be what you're passionate about. And I always say to follow your passions because when you follow what you really love to do, it's gonna come so much easier because the work won't feel like work. And I always say that you can make money doing literally anything. But for today's purposes, we're forgetting all of that. And I'm telling you how I would do it if I was gonna start from scratch. Before we start, my name is Brian. And if you're traumatized by the nine to five or even the thought of a nine to five like I was, you are like us. Everyone on this channel is working towards this better life for themselves, a life that they control where they have the freedom to do whatever they want, whenever they want. So if you resonate with that, consider clicking the subscribe button. The only requirement to make this work for you is that you've literally solved any problem in your life. You've got a job in a specific field, you've gone on a fitness journey, you've got really good at a specific skill. It doesn't matter too much what it is, but if something doesn't immediately come to mind, then I would focus on that first because when I was still fat, had a junk food addiction, a game addiction, a porn addiction, basically every addiction you could imagine, I tried to make things work, but none of them ever worked out. I made a video recently that says your business is a reflection of you. And if you're not the type of person that can run a successful business yet, then you need to become that person first. And naturally becoming that person will give you this problem to solve. Before I solve these problems to myself, I would start learning things. And whenever I reached the tiniest mental block, something only slightly difficult was happening, I would give up altogether because I wasn't used to working hard and actually getting shit done for myself. So after you have this particular thing in mind that you've done, the way we're going to make money is by helping people one-to-one -to, -one to solve that problem that you've solved for yourself. Helping people one-to-one -one is one of the best ways to get into doing online business because you don't need that many clients to start making a full-time wage. You probably need about four to 10 clients to make $2,000 a month. The initial setup that you need is quite small. You don't need to spend months making some course or something. And it's actually quite a wholesome thing to do. You're helping people and you're changing lives. And that's actually really fulfilling at the same time. Time. And actually, a ton of successful entrepreneurs start with one-to-one -one client work. I mean, look at Alex Hormozy. He started by growing people's gyms, like individual gyms. And then he made more money by teaching people how to grow their gyms themselves because he figured out exactly how to do it for every gym. He figured out this system that works for every gym, no matter where you are. The next thing you need to do is figure out exactly how you're going to deliver this product. And it's difficult for me to tell you how to do it when I don't know what the goal is that you're helping people with. But for example, the thing I offer is a one-to-one -one YouTube mentorship. And to give you some ideas of what you could include, I give you my personal phone numbers. You can literally text me with any problems you have. We have regular calls and I do like a full game plan where I tell you exactly what videos you should post. I give you a bunch of ideas and I tell you exactly where you can improve. So that's my product. Hopefully that kind of helps you figure out what to add to yours. And the price of that should be anywhere between about $100 to $1,000 a month. And it's hard for me to say because it depends exactly how much you do for them. But if you do like personalized work, 
like you video edit for them or you make them thumbnails, it should probably be on the higher end of that. But if you're just giving them information, then I'd probably stick to the lower end. The only important thing about the price is you should be 100% certain that whatever the price is, you are being robbed. That means you are so confident that the product will exceed the value that they're paying that you're gonna be way more confident and come across better when you're talking about it. So now you have your product, you have your price, you know exactly what you're doing, but how do you find people that will buy it? So what we are going to do is we are going to use social media, but not in the traditional way. Because we're not just trying to get views here, we're trying to attract as much of the right person as possible. Think about it, some YouTubers literally get hundreds of thousands of views per video and still end up broke. So views aren't really what we're looking for. For our purposes, if we're trying to attract this exact type of person, then we only really need about 300 views per video. All of a sudden, it's a lot more realistic. When people try to appeal to everyone, they still get loads of views, but they don't build any true fans. Everyone just sort of likes them and watches them every now and again, but there's none of that connection. The person we're trying to target is someone that actually wants to work with you and that actually likes you as a person rather than just liking your content. We only want 300 views per video because those 300 views is going to be from absolute fucking legends. People that actually resonate with you, not the fucking colors or fancy editing. And if you're watching this, unless this video's hit the algorithm and gone viral, you are one of my legends. So thank you very much for watching this video. So next question you may ask is that there's so much competition, there's so many people more successful than me, why would someone watch me? And my answer to that is, well, there's people out there with literally billions of dollars and they also make content, but you're still sat here watching this video. Why is that? And it's because people buy into the person. They don't buy into the credibility. Sure, a little bit of credibility is important, but people are way more likely to buy from someone that they like or relate to. Also, people actually tend to learn best from people one step ahead than them. Someone 30 steps ahead is so far removed from your current situation that they might not even have any specific advice to help you with. So all you really need to do here, it's actually quite easy. Just be your authentic self. Tell the truth about everything everything, just be as much yourself as you can be and then you'll attract the exact right type of person. Make sure that when you sit down to record a video, the camera framing is actually proper. There's no like mess in your room and put a bit of effort into the lighting as well. I don't know if you can see, the, there's a window there. Like my face is like, there's this little triangle here. Someone said this was good. I just literally watched one tutorial on how to make a face cam look good. Just make sure the light source is like to your side or directly in front of you. If it's behind you, it's gonna look terrible. Then get half decent at talking to a camera. Just make sure you cut the silences out, make sure the video flows properly and be prepared to work for a few months with no results as you get better before you hit that critical improvement point and you start getting 300 views a video. And the next thing, which is the most important thing of all, is to give people tons of value. Switch the focus from wanting to make money to wanting to help people. Because as soon as you give that up, the money will come to you. Because the bottom line is, if people haven't found your videos helpful, they won't buy your shit. So if you follow that, it shouldn't take too long to get here. If you're just starting out, it will probably take about three to six months to get 300 views a video if you're really focused and you're really dedicated to improving. The next step is you can actually start doing this pretty much straight away, but after you start getting these 300 views a video, all you need to do is make a Calendly account, which is this website where people can book meetings with you. Then just set your availability and make this initial event, which is like an initial one-to-one -one call, initial mentorship call, whatever. When you create the event, it will give you a link that you can then put in the description of your videos that people can click on and book a call with you. Then just do a call to action in your videos. About once in your video, wherever you want, just tell people to go and check it out and don't put any pressure on it because if you come across with this desperate energy, like, please buy this, please, I'm poor, I want to escape my nine to five, then it just comes across terrible and no one will want to buy from you. You need to genuinely be willing to change these people's lives. And you'll find that slowly but surely, people will start booking these calls with you. And in that call, all you have to do is explain what the product is and the pricing of the product and just be a human, talk to them about it. You can start getting into sales here and figuring out how to make someone buy it. But honestly, I don't think there's a point because if someone is truly confident that you can help them, they will buy from you. And that's the
the exact type of person that you want to work with. It's going to take a while to get the first sales calls and get the momentum going, but after you get that first sale, your mind completely changes. That belief barrier gets broken. The hardest one to get is always the first one. After you get the first one, it becomes a lot easier. The only thing you really need to keep in mind during this whole process is to not be pushy. Don't beg people to buy your product. Just Put your focus entirely on them, helping them as much as possible and just be really confident that you will change their lives if they buy this thing from you. Everyone acts from their own self-interest. They don't buy the product to give you money. They buy the product because they think you will help them and it's gonna be worth more than the money they're paying you. After you get that first sale, it won't be much longer before you get your second, your third, and then eventually you'll have enough to quit your nine to five job. Don't complicate it any more than that. It's really that simple. The YouTubers that you watch that have these really complicated sales pages, complicated scripts, whatever, they've been doing it for a while. That product they might have had out for over a year at this point and they've constantly been iterating on it. All you need to get started is something really simple like this. It's really that simple and the main thing stopping people from doing this is just the belief. But as soon as you just act without thinking, you will eventually break that belief barrier. And then you will realize just how possible this is. The entirety of Reddit, the majority majority of the internet comments on YouTube videos say that this is some impossible difficult task and that only 1% make it. That's all bullshit. Just act until you get that first sale and after that all of those beliefs will disappear. It's hard for me to instill this belief into you but trust me just try it because you are going to comment about five to six months from now on one of these videos just how well this works. By that time you might still have your job or you might have quit already but even if you're still doing your job whilst you're doing this, you have the luxury of just being able to give your boss the middle finger whenever the fuck you want. And that's a great feeling because the main problem with having a job is that you can't escape it. But now you can do whatever the fuck you want. That's all from me this video. I hope this helps you. It's kind of specific advice that might not be the path that some people want to take, but this is one of the things that's possible in online business. And it's actually a great path that can set you up for future things if being an educator is what you want to do. So subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.